I can, I would, I would turn on the light. Yeah, that's so how much more time until, are you finished or are you like 90% done? 90% for the official, but okay. My, you, my brain has uh, some problem. Yes, from the obvious hand. I don't know what I hope it does not spread. These, these, these brains, sometimes they have some problem. Before I think it was about the fish. Your frags are beautiful, man. Yeah, but I mean, they're the size. I mean, these guys look fantastic. How, how old is this one right here? Actually, I do a lot of frag. Wow, this species is called the, the. I think they call the Charlies. And I got 30 of these, so I believe. <laughs> 30? Even these. About half years. Over half years. So the system is not quite stable. Yeah, yeah. So I still need time to wait. Balance it. Yeah. Plus I cutting a lot of coral and I grew. So the grew and the, the frag pack is also through the water. The main grew is grow very fast, as you see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Before I put in the sun, there's no space for them to really grow yeah. high. And now they just... Yeah. These main grew about just half years. The Before the old main grew, I all thought, no, wait. It's about a week. One week, yeah, one week is coming up. So this, uh, this is the quarantine tank. Quarantine tank. Yes. After uh, when I import the coral, I quarantine in these two tanks. Just one sum, two tanks, just went together. Okay, everything's set up already. So just waiting for the the coral coming. Now there's no yeah, no, no chance coral. to import coral. This is a funny one. Quarantine tank one. Yeah, and I show all this like the system and each tank. So waiting for this system. This system just running about two weeks and day three is it's ready. Oh, it's very important, the light, the fence for the light. Actually, it's, we set up the, the light. <laughs> this is for sharing the temperature of the adapter. Many people ask me how to set up this one. This one is hell. The high performance of the light or other equipment. So these only turn on when the ballasts are too hot, right? I use a timer, so when the, when the light turns on, it's automatic on, okay. on the same time, to change the adapter temperature, so that's cool. So a lot of species from Indonesia, I keep the species, I keep the flag, and I hope to protect the species and make the color, like show better color, and we do the flag, then we sell to the shop to protect the earth. Okay, this is sounds like great, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but this is a real thing I do because I like diving and I check the coral underwater, so it's getting the worse. It's worse. Bad. Yes. It's bad. This is good. This is good. This is a great view right here. All right, guys. So, like, if you wanted to buy coral that was from nature, that that coral, how much? Like, like if you had a little frag like this big. And it was taken from nature. Yep. How much would have to die for you to get that little piece? Depending on the size we get from the supplier. Yeah. So for the chain spot, we make sure the coral survive. We make the good size for our chain spot. If you wanted to put coral in your fish tank and you didn't buy it from a guy like Leo who's splitting it himself and it came from nature, there's a lot of damage that people do to the coral reefs there in order to get those fish and coral. Fish especially, right? I think it's like if you have a fish from the wild in America, probably 100 fish died for you to get that one fish, right? Something, yes. something crazy. I just bought about 30 piece fish and maybe survived five piece. Yeah. I can show you. 
like this zebra town. I bought five. There's only one left. And it looks like very skinny. But if you take that one zebra tang and you breed it in a place like this, you can, you can make sure that nothing wild is damaged and it's all kept here, you know? Like this coral right here, how many could you make from that one? You could make a whole group from one little piece, right? Yeah. You know, it would just so take time. When I use the machine and I cut, so maybe like this size. Okay, like yeah. this size. Yeah. I can cut 10 to 15 pieces yeah. at least. So just wait another half a year or depending different species, depending on the environment, right, right, the right. element we supply. So they grow very fast. This yeah. one is... <laughs> Okay. It's still a little brown. Sorry, I do. Yeah, it's a yeah, little yeah. bit brown. <laughs> I do very rude because they, <laughs> they they will be fine. <laughs> I know. Like this one. This is a purple bird nest. Actually, I bring this one from overseas about four years ago. Okay. But now I do fret over four hundred. Right here. Those are all of those. No, it's just part of these and. And all of these are the purples. I got more. And there's <laughs> I got more, but I got one more, but in my supplier fish tank. So yeah. for the burnets, this is kind of very fast growth species. Yeah. But they need strong life, strong element. You need to make the quality of the water stable. Yeah. Make sure they got enough supplement to absorb to grow. Yeah. So the light is very important. And the system. We feeding the food for a coral. The system is very important. If the if the system not strong enough, when feeding overfeeding, the system will be crashed. Mm. So, so we we make the balance for feeding and the coral growing. I it's mean, in the future, if you could grow all your coral, all the coral for all the hobbyists in rooms like this, you would never have to go into the real nature and then break everything off. You know, yes. you could let nature do its thing. And as like, cause all you need to do is take one piece and you can make, you know, given yeah. enough time, you can make as many frags as you want. How many different types of coral do you have here right now? Right here, not much, but I think it's about over 100. Over 100. Yeah, at least over 100. And different color setting, the light setting is show up, they're different. Mm. So the species, I think it's over 100, not much, but cause this is new coral farm. Yeah. I would select new species from the reefer or the shop and over 100 yeah even my button before over 100 mm. just one button. just just one variety yes yeah. so over 100 but the SPS I will try to select more mm. to make sure they enough for for the local market and enough for my fish farm first mm. so and then this was my brain from a while ago. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it's got a little got a little wound there. Hopefully it's gonna but that but the outside edge, I mean they're feeding. Yeah. They're feeding. Also just turn on the light. Yeah. On that they will try to catch the food. You don't know Leo. Can you show us what you do? Like, like you own a yeah. You own one co. Yes, I'm the founder of the brand of the co. <laughs> so we manufacture the, the skimmer, the calcium reactor right here. So skimmer, that's yours. And the calcium reactor. Calcium, Reac calcium reactor. And then also you have a whole bunch of your stuff yes, here. Yes, the fish pellets, primer, the magnet. So we yeah. got some. What did you start with? It was the about the 11 food, years right? ago. What, what was yeah. the first thing? The fish food, right? And salt. I was open this bread. Uh, I was stuck with the food, but at the beginning, I was my pocket is the skimmer. Yeah. So skimmer, skimmer. 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 Yeah. yeah. Leo is much much better on camera than if you've watched the first episode with him. He's got he's got a TikTok channel. How many subscribers to your TikTok? Fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. 
So yeah, yeah. If you, how do you, how do, is it on only China TikTok or or the TikTok and yeah, TikTok, TikTok? I think it's, yeah, TikTok is uh, in China we call we Douyin. Douyin. Yeah, so yeah. actually it's the international. Yeah. I'm not sure. Give me the links. I will put them in the video. Okay. No <laughs> so so check check his stuff out. Anyway, he's a pro. He's a YouTuber basically, just like me. Sorry. Okay. So I show you some the mushroom. Okay. Holy moly! We need to clean that glass a little better. What? <laughs> okay, so you want to know the price for the mushroom? Yeah. That yeah. mushroom called J Breaker, JB. Okay, so the market price, I think it's about 10 to 15,000 MEB per, per, per one. Oh, holy yeah. crap. Depending the color. So there's five or six colors, oh, I think. Okay, so let me show you. Actually, Holy the light is just moly. Yeah, yeah get the shimmer off of there. Hey, maybe it's uh, maybe without yeah, is yeah, better. Yeah. yeah, that's better. Holy moly, that is gorgeous. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's focused. Wow. Is that that's your most colorful one? That thing's got green and red and orange and yellow and purple and purple. They yeah, just got five color, but. Yeah. So I will make many bulldog and then cover the bulldog. Oh, okay, okay. Like a chia pet. Do you know what a chia pet is? No. In America, we have these animals. You put the grass on them and the oh, grass. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, called that's a saying. chia pet. The commercial was ch 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 chia, and then you make a chia pet. But you would make a coral pet. Thanks. Now we're gonna go see his uh, his. Oh, right. Now we're gonna check out his office tank. Oh geez, you closed the wall off. I guess the wall was closed off a long time ago. Anyway, that was a cool visit to the uh, reef room here at Cove Aqua. Thanks. Okay, thanks. <laughs> like, subscribe, share, comment. Check out Leo's uh, links in the description below. And uh, when do you think I can come back and see the next level? Uh, before New Year. Before New Year. Yeah, end of this year. Okay. We'll be finished. So all the fish tank will be fully yeah. fresh. Well, if I'm still here, yeah, sure. we'll come. <laughs> Later, guys. Tell me, what are we doing? <laughs> we got a party! Oh, what kind of a party? <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Oh, I have a hamburger on my forehead. It's a few days before Halloween, and Eva has a Halloween party at her school. And Mommy's dressed up like? Anna! I don't need this for me. I'm Olaf, although... That's, that's Olaf right there. I like warm hugs. Does your daddy look like a goofball? Yeah! Wow, Jojo! You're an angel devil. You're an angel demon. Jojo, your dad is very scary. Is Jojo's dad scary? No. A bit complicated. It's a little messy. So get the whole idea one at a time in there. Wow, look at your costume. Oh, look at that, let me guess. Is it Elsa? Some of the parents over there had a rough night.